Hey folks, so something a little interesting, another coffee review. Um, this is going to be Recluse Coffee out of Richmond, Virginia. This is Mutenalat number 95 Burundi, Conquer Great Plum and Molasses Notes. Um, so I was down in Richmond, and I know I said no more beer-related reviews, but not really beer-related. Um, and while I talk, I'm going to actually make it, because I thought this would be kind of interesting. Um, so this is straight off the kettle. Um, I usually vary sometimes how I do this. But anyways, I was down in Richmond, um, and I went to the Vale um, and drinking some beers. And they had like a little bit of like a farmer's market almost outside. So um, we stopped and noticed that there was a coffee roaster there. And I was like, perfect. And I never thought it would come to this, but like um, I always just, whenever I go buy beans, I'm always like, blah, 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 blah. Just buy whatever ones look really good or what sound good. And I walked up and I was like, hey, how's it going? I started talking and I said something like, I like more berry notes recently. And literally in my head, I thought to myself, wow, I've gotten to that pretentious point in my life. Here we go. Now down a rabbit hole, just like beer. Mm. <laughs> no, kidding. Um, but yeah, no, the guy was like, I know just what you, what just, 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 just what we have for you. Blah, blah, blah. It was this one. Um, he gave me a pour of the, um, of the cold brew that they had that they made the iced coffee um and it was really really good and i was like i bought a bag um they gave me a free thing of cold brew and then as i was as i was walking away um they had stickers for the girls our my daughter and, and, and larry's daughter who i was with um uh, and they gave the girls um stickers and i was like she's like if you don't have instagram do this instagram stuff and i was like yeah cool man i can't wait to try these guys out um and then she said oh we're opening a new roastery soon and i was like i'm not from here that's a shame, um, but they sound really interesting. They they started in 2018. They're opening a roastery soon in a, well a coffee bar in uh in in the Rich Mary, I think right around the corner from Vale. Um, the way that they pointed, um, I, I didn't get I didn't get either of their names, but they're both super friendly. So if you're down in Richmond, check these guys out. Recluse Coffee. Uh, let's get this final stir. Uh, that was a long winded way to get there, but uh, yeah, let's um, see here. Um, and again, like I said, not really beer related, but technically, if it wasn't for the Vale wouldn't have wouldn't have stumbled upon these guys um this is fresh i literally just opened it i, I was debating doing a review or not i'm like i just have so many other stuff in the bag like do i really want to just do a review now but i was like yeah I'll just do one get an aeropress if you don't have one it's fantastic especially if you work from home and um you just drink single cups every now and then it's a lot easier than pouring a pot and letting the pot sit wow this is really boring so how's everyone's day? Yeah, mine's doing pretty good. Just finished lunch. Apparently I have time to do this. And hiss. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. So this is still pretty hot. Um, I'm in the basement. As you can see, or as you know from the set, um, I popped down here with this. This is freshly off the uh, off the kettle, so it probably cooled down a little bit. So it's not not it wasn't scalding hot. Um, pretty cool art on the. Uh, this was roasted on July fourteenth. Today is the sixth of August. Um, let's dive in. I'm really, I'm really excited. I'm hoping that I like this one because you can get it online. I think. So um, this one pour, pours a murky brown. That looks pitch black on camera. It's not black. It's um, it's a, it's, it's a murky brown, almost some some some, some amber issues. Who knows? Thanks, Windows. No, no, let's not restart now. Jesus. I'm actually gonna move this because I just realized I keep like not looking at it. And it keeps like blocking my face. Earthy tones, some berries. I don't know if I get the conquer grape. What was it? It said like conquer grape. Plum, plum maybe. There is some. Actually, yeah, molasses not so much on the on the nose, but there is like that like plummy, interesting, or my mind. I guess blueberry grapey, yeah. Cheers. Wow. So like I said, I had the Cobra version of this. This kind of is spot on. It's got this. Lovely bitterness and acidity, but in before all that happens, you get those fruity esters of like the grape of the of of the plum that they're saying you're gonna get. Maybe I'm not sure if I. Maybe they're a little with coffee. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more difficult for me to pull stuff out like it is beer. I don't know if that's a my uh, palate training thing or whatnot, but um, the initial sip you get 
almost like a grapiness. And then it gives you this nice earthy pleasantness, maybe some grassy, um, and just this medium, medium roast. And then after the medium roast hits, it just kind of bitters out and just lingers in this really nice, not like, you know, burnt coffee flavor though, or like if you drink a really dark roast, it doesn't like sit there like that. This is just a nice pleasant, you know, you're drinking coffee. Um, I like my coffee a little strong, so I usually make it this little strong, but, uh, I didn't pour any extra water into it, but let's see. Just made it hotter. Yeah, it's got this overall ple pleasant roastiness um, with the berries and molasses. I'm not really getting the molasses. Usually I get like a caramelly sometimes with certain stuff. I'm not really getting that that sweetness, um, but it is giving me that the, the plum and grape definitely come through. Um, let me know in the comments what you think um, of Reckless Coffee. If you've had them um, and what you think of, you know, some cool coffee stuff in general. Uh, that made no sense. Um, but also... Let me know what you think of this. I don't think I'm going to do it ever again. This seemed like it was just too much work. I think I'm just going to brew the coffee and then be done with it. Um, but anyways, I'm Sean. This is Nerd Sense. Drinks coffee. Cheers.